Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to continue the crypto mining series and we're going to be looking at this device here which is called a grid seed dual miner. Now what this means is it can mine Litecoin so basically script coins and also it can mine SHA-256 cryptos as well like Bitcoin. So the beauty of this is for something like passive income where you don't want something taking hundreds of watts to run you can have this just running silently connected to your computer it runs off usb so you've got the usb port just here it's got a heat sink on the back um, it does get hot but as long as you have it dangling and not touching the surface you'll be fine that's the chips on the back of it and just over here I don't know if you can see very well on the camera but there's a switch here so you can switch it from script only mode to dual mining mode just by flicking that switch over there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to configure this on a Windows 10 PC or laptop. So I'll show you how to mine some Litecoin and we'll also have a look at how it works with um, SHA-256 cryptos as well. Let's go. OK, so let's go ahead and plug this into the USB and see what happens. And let's go into um, Device Manager. So once you're in Device Manager, you'll see that it pops up in other devices as dual RS232-HHS and there's two entries. And the reason for that is this is Windows 10, so it's not really compatible with uh, with the drivers on this system. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called Zadig to configure this. So download Zadig. This is 2.5. There might be a newer version uh, since this video, but double click on it. Click on yes to open it. Now in here you need to go into options and do list all devices and then go back in options and untick ignore hubs or composite parents because that's where we want to basically set the driver. We want to set it on the parent. So once you've done that, click on the list and find the parent for that one, which is that one there, dual RS232 dash hs composite parent click on that so at the moment it's got this usb ccgp driver on there we want to replace that with a win usb driver so just go ahead click on replace driver just ask you are you sure you want to do this yes we are So there we go, the driver was installed successfully. Click on close. So we've got the parent on WinUSB. So after you've set the, um, the driver using Zadig, and if you flick back into Device Manager, you'll see under USB Devices that it's now under dual RS232-HS, but it, it's actually an accepted device this time. It doesn't have a cross through it. So now make sure that the miner itself here is in script mining mode just by toggling the switch. And what we're going to do then is we're going to use a mining program called CG Miner. Now, the version that works with these dual miner switches is very important. There's a number of versions which don't work and there's a number of newer versions which don't support these older devices. So the one that guaranteed to work with this one is CG Miner 3.5.0. So see if you can download that from the web. So once you've done that, uh, you'll get a bunch of files in there looking like this. You've got the CG miner.exe you might need to exclude that from any antivirus software you've got on your system because it might pick it up as a, a malware or something like that so make sure that's excluded so you can run it if the cg miner exe does get blocked all you need to do is if you haven't got any other fancy firewalls and then you're just using the standard windows one it's just going into windows security go into virus and threat detection click on exclusions and add the cg miner.exe as an exclusion and then the only other bit you need to do is basically edit the batch file with your pool details in it. So that's what the batch file looks like. Um, so it starts off with cgminer.exe, uh, double dash script. That's the type of coin we're going to be mining. Uh, that's the address of the pool. At the moment, I'm just using this light coin pool, which is quite a popular pool, just to demonstrate how this works. Enter your uh, worker credentials in there. Then just add these switches at the bottom here. Dual miner minus PLL. 850 hot plug 5 and then usb dump 0. okay so we've got the moment of truth let's go ahead and double click that batch file so it's picked up the miner you can see from the two leds on there that it's configured correctly and there we go it's mining away so as you can see 
that's the hash rate there at the moment it's 17 it's just winding up at the moment about 50 but usually that'll stabilize around about 70 75 kilo hash a second so there's a number of factors that are going to affect the mining rate number one's going to be the difficulty of the pool that you're mining and the coin secondly it depends on um, which blocks get accepted by the miner as well so this is going to be running about 70 um, kilo hash a second so it's just one of these things it's silent it runs a little bit hot on the heat sink but that's fine uh, but that's basically how you get this miner running passively you can just plug it in and forget about it and it'll just mine away merrily on its own so just a quick video on power usage uh, this is the device connected while it's idle and as you can see it's drawing about 0.115 amps and about 0 0.560 watts so not much at all now if this was mining you'd be expecting it to get around about 0 0.310 amps and round about 1.48 watts of power as well so that just gives you a bit of an idea just how much power usage this device has so next up is sha 256 scripto mining so what we're going to do is turn the uh, device over here and we're just going to toggle that switch to the right like that plug it back in So once you've got the USB plugged in, uh, you need to create a batch file for your script coin. I'm just using this one here. So I'll just edit that and show you what I've got. So again, I've got CG minor stratum to go into this pool. And just using those settings for the dual miner as well. And this is ZEC cache that we're going to be doing. Or Zcash, can't remember which one it is. So close that and double click on it. Remember now it's in dual mining mode. So it's just going to connect to the pool. And there we go. So we're getting a pretty good hash rate there. We're getting over 200 mega hash a second. And that's it just leave it to mine in the same way you did with the script coin so the good thing with this is you can decide on uh, you've got a lot more choices of coins you can mine you've got your dual mode you've got your script coins as well so it's great for that pretty silent when it runs runs from usb very little power usage whatsoever so there you go guys that's the grid seed one chip dual miner mining litecoin mining zec cash I uh, hope you like this video. Please stay tuned. I've got some more crypto mining videos coming, uh, which are going to be even greater and bigger than this. We're gradually building up. In the previous one, we had iPhone mining. Now we've gone to USB grid seed mining. The next one, you'll just have to wait and see what that one is. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you savages on the next one.